Hey guys, welcome back to the big board. So we're looking at Panza again, and we're continuing to play the two link scenarios for the assault or the capture of Brody. And we're on, I think it's turn seven. And the reason why I haven't posted for a while is I've been doing a little bit of homework on the staggered initiative rules and really just trying to make sure I maximize the value out of the game from a tactical perspective to try and see if you know we can we can play it within the bounds of reason of potentially how it may have all kind of panned out in this given situation. In this particular assault, the Germans don't have any preparatory uh, artillery coming in or no air support or anything like that. It really is just a straight up assault. And so I'm trying to use smoke for the first time and and use it correctly. Uh, I had a few concerns and issues over whether it was what they would call like open or closed sheath, how smoke was actually applied onto the map and then rotated off the map. And you'll see it's got, uh, I'll show you on a counter here. It's got this on and off business here. And so you, you know, it comes onto the map and you put it on and then at the end of the turn you flick it to off and then the next turn you just take it, off, take it physically off the map. So that all makes good sense and that's fine. And uh, you have to roll to see whether or not you can actually fire the smoke. So each individual tank that's eligible to do that, so there'll be these guys down here, I've got three of them. They fire, they roll a die uh, against their ammo number, which is seven. So they've got a 70% chance of firing. Well, so far two out of three have fired each time, so that's all fine. So we're trying to keep a steady kind of marching uh, field of covering smoke as these these half tracks and things approached with all the infantry which I kind of piled up into they just unloaded and this was a smoke hex but it's the end of the turn so these two hexes are now clear so we really need to get initiative next turn and roll well so that we can fire smoke again into these two hexes or further out uh, the penalties for firing through smoke are fairly significant and it takes a short range shot from here to here. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what it does to the percentage chance to hit. It goes from a basically a 70% chance, well I guess the unit was moving, so a 56% chance all the way down to a 21% chance to hit. So all these guys fired at these half tracks and missed this turn because there was smoke uh, in overwatch they fired and there was smoke there and there's one thing you'll probably note here is that the things look fairly crowded in these hexes and indeed they are and i think this will clear up next turn when we move the infantry across the bridge and capture the first objective and try and do a uh, i think it's called a hasty move or something like that but they're going to try and ass assault this hex uh, after we've put some suppressing fire on it. We're going to use the suppressing fire optional rules <clears throat> in this scenario. But it's very crowded here and trying to move units through and do all this sort of business, it, it, it really, I guess, it's just kind of disappointing that either these counters are just a tiny bit smaller or the hexes are just a tiny bit bigger. And... I don't think this will happen very often because it's pretty it's a pretty open game. You can see the size of the map, right? Typically you're gonna be playing on a larger area, so you're not gonna have these crowding issues. But for this particular close assault, uh, assault the city scenario, it's a little bit frustrating because I'm always banging things and knocking things. Maybe I'm just clumsy, eh? Okay, so. Uh, that's where we're at with the scenario and it's taken me a while to play. I'm playing a few other things at the same time and I'm kind of, I now think I have the, the rules down enough that I can pretty much, um, pretty much play the game without having to look up things too much. And I've got a little cheat sheet that I downloaded. You need to go get this uh, three page cheat sheet on firing and all this sort of stuff. Because uh, at the very least, if the answer is not there, then there's rule references for every little summary piece. So that's really helpful uh, for this game. Uh, I'm still enjoying it very much. Uh, I think uh, there's lots of good gameplay here. 
<clears throat> I'm not sure if it's just where I'm at at the moment with this game, but I'm not feeling the narrative come out as much as I thought it would. Uh, I've been looking for a story in this, and I'm, I think I'm still too early into the system to really just play the game and you know enjoy it and absorb it and go woohoo when you miss. Uh, right now, it's more like. I missed or I'm ticked off because my 70% shock went down to 21% and I was wanted to blow a half track up so uh, you know that you still work as you become more familiar with the system you'll know when and to and when not to take shots uh, and perhaps avoid some of those frustrations all right so that's a that's a little update for you we'll keep playing we're gonna see I'm very interested to see how close assaults work so we may force some of those to happen this turn, even though it might not be in the best interest of all our little soldiers, but we'll see what happens from there. Okay, talk to you soon, my friends.